Hey y'all, welcome to Survival on the Skinny with Stephen Kenny. That's me. What I wanted to go today is a knife sharpening 101, okay? The way you sharpen a knife, how you can get that razor edge on your knife, um, and we'll touch a little bit on degrees and angles, that sort of thing. Alright, so let's just jump right in. There's a lot of different sharpeners out there. Um, these are stone sharpeners, which is my favorite. I, I like stones. Um, you've also diamond sharpeners. Uh, these are great. If you have, if you've got like a super steel, 3V and that sort of thing, diamond is the best way to go as far as how quickly you can get uh, a damaged edge back. And I, and I stress damaged. Um, if your edge is just a little dull, uh, then all I suggest doing and all I do is strop. This is a strop board. So if I've got a little bit of a dull edge, uh, there's two different compounds. I've got black and green jewelers rouge. So if it's just a little dull, I'll take my knife and strop it. But we'll get to all that. Start out with, you got your knife, okay? Uh, this is uh, Creek Stewart's camp knife. It says 1084 spring steel, high carbon spring steel. So anyway, we we'll use it for today. All right, as it sits right now, <clears throat> as it sits right now, this knife is pretty sharp. Okay. It'll cut. All right. So first things first, because we need a knife that's not sharp that we can sharpen, now, everybody's going to cringe when I do this, but okay. Now I can't even cut the paper with it. It's dull. Alright, now I know this edge is dull, so Looking at the edge, it's dull, but it's not damaged. There's no chunks missing out of it, anything like that, but it is dull. I'm gonna start off with a medium. Now this stone, this Smith makes this. This is their trihone. So you've got coarse, medium, and fine, okay? Coarse, if you're if your blade is damaged, your edge is damaged, you'll want to go to coarse. Our edge isn't really damaged, it's just dull, so we can start off with the medium. Before you start sharpening anything, you need to find out what degree or what angle this edge was ground at from the factory. Okay? Now, to do that, you want to lay your knife down, pick it up till you feel the bump. When you feel it kind of bump over, you know that's the angle that this was filed at from the factory. Okay. If you're unsure and you don't know what angle and you don't feel the bump, take a Sharpie magic marker, color the edge. Okay. Just color the edge of the knife. Once you've colored the edge, if you don't feel the bump, you can go ahead and, and work it. Now using one motion, starting at the heel and going to the tip, then I can look and see, and I can see that I'm actually removing that magic marker. So I know I'm holding it at the right angle. Okay. You're going to want to sharpen this 10 times on one side, turn it over, 10 times on this side, turn it over, 9 times on this side, 9 times on this side, 8, 7, 6, so you're sharpening it, so you're moving it many times. 
But we're going to use this. This what this is my bench top model. So we're going to use this to start off with. All right. Now before we sharpen this, your stone should be oiled. Okay. You need to add a lubricant to the stone. Now, if you use oil, whether it's Smith, uh, Lansky makes a great oil, whether it's diesel fuel, kerosene works, but I don't recommend it. I like diesel fuel or a honing oil. You put oil on a stone, that is all you can use on that stone. A wet stone, much like this one here that I keep in my pack, which is very fine, it's only had water applied to it using water as a lubricant, okay? If a stone has been, has used water as a lubricant, you can go to oil and use oil on the stone. If you use oil on a stone in the beginning, you can only use oil on that stone. As we all know, oil and water doesn't mix. But if you've got oil on your stone, you can only use oil. Water will just come right off of it. The reason you lubricate a stone, you lubricate a stone so that the, so that the little shavings of metal that's coming off your blade, they will kind of roll up and they will not clog the stone. Okay? If you don't use a lubricant, then as you're sharpening, the fine pieces of metal will actually clog the pores in the stone. So let's get this sharp. Okay, we started at 10, went all the way down to 1. So, now let's go over to the fine stone. Okay, again, you need to lubricate the stone. Now, when, you're, when your stone is new, it will take a lot of lubricant. Uh, it, it will absorb a lot. This is not a new stone, and it's actually got quite a bit of oil already in it. So, going over to the fine, we're going to do it. We're going to start at 5 instead of 10, um, because what we're doing now is we're cleaning up, cleaning up the edge. Okay, so we'll start with 5, find our angle.
Okay. There's our five. And then you just take a look at the edge. See how you like it. Looks pretty good. It's clean, it's got a decent shine all the way down. Now, next is stropping. Okay? Okay, next we would go straight to a strop from this point. I want to go over this. This is one of Smith's sharpeners. See how it holds the blade? You run this through and this keeps you at the same angle on whichever side of the blade you're working on. Okay? So that way you know that your angle is staying the same. This sharpener itself comes with diamond stones that you would use for a harder steel. Okay? Just want to throw that in there. So now we've got an edge on our knife. Next, we're going to strop it. What stropping is doing is polishing the edge of the knife. Okay? Now, whereas in sharpening, you're going against the edge. Okay? Sharpening, you're going against. Stropping, you're going with. To find where you want to hold this at, lay your knife on the strop and see it slides easy. Gradually pick it up. Okay, I hope you can see this good enough. Gradually pick it up until it bites into the strop. It bit in right there. That's the angle that I want to strop at. Okay? So, full length, full pull, all the way going with the edge. And you're going to do this on both sides the same way. And what this is doing is polishing. Now I want to make something clear. You do not have to go the full length of the knife. You can just drop parts at a time, okay? If your knife is just a little bit dull from use, all you need to do is drop it, and you will get that edge right back. Now, just take a visual look at your at the night edge. Should be a really bright shine. You get a real bright shine on there, then you've got that thing polished up. Using a magnifying glass if you want. And take a real close look at the edge. When you're sharpening, you're removing material. When you're stropping, you're just polishing that material out. Okay? So let's see if we've got this knife back to sharp. Yep. Y'all see that? It doesn't take long. Okay? And there's a lot of different sharpeners out there. Okay, uh, hopefully that's cleared up a couple of things. It's not, it's not rocket science, okay? Sharpening a knife um, is, is just you're removing the metal, 
putting an edge back on your knife. Um, stropping is polishing the edge. Remember the old barber's chair had that great big leather strap and he took his razor and polishing that edge. That's where you get the razor from. I really like this for carrying in my pack. This is made by WorkSharp and it's their field sharpener. It's got a coarse diamond side, a fine diamond side, a piece of leather that you can strop with and a ceramic rod as well with a small ceramic rod here for serrated blades. This ceramic knot rod will change. You can turn it. You can sharpen fish hooks on it. It's got a coarse side and a smooth side. Okay. But this is, I carry this in my pack a lot of times. Um, I always at least have a stone. Just a little stone like this. Fine stone, just to bring the edge back. And then I wear a leather belt and I can use my belt as a straw. Like I say, the, there's many options out there. These, you know, you pull against the edge. Um, small diamond stones. This style I'm sure you've seen before too is where you've got a straight edge where this sits here and you put your knife against the wheels and just pull it through. You know there's a lot of them out there. I encourage everyone to just get a stone, a stone sharpener. Learn how to sharpen a knife on a stone first. Learn what it takes. Just get some experience with it, and then you can move on to some, you know, some little pocket sharpeners and that sort of thing um, to carry with you in the field. Okay, um, that's really about everything. Uh, one one thing I do want to cover is how to maintain your blade. Uh, this is 1084 carbon steel; it will rust. So I use mineral oil. I use mineral oil to clean and maintain my blade. The reason that I use mineral oil on my knives, whether it's big knives, little knives, whatever, when I'm carrying my knife, when I'm carrying my knife with me and I'm backpacking with it, if I'm hiking with it, just carrying it, there's probably going to be a time I'm going to use this for food. Okay, mineral oil is food grade, it's tasteless, it's odorless, and it protects from rust. So if I'm going to use this knife, and I'm in the woods, and I'm going to camp, I'm going to probably use this for cooking. I don't want to eat gun oil, or WD-40, or diesel. So I will clean my knives, always clean them, and keep them protected using mineral oil because it's safe to eat, okay? I hope y'all learned something. hope you got something out of this. Um, comment below, like it, subscribe to my channel, all right? Um, y'all have an awesome day, and be awesome to each other. We'll see you later.